good afternoon guys welcome to my tutorial welcome to another video and uh, it's a great privilege to see that uh, I'm getting a lot of subscribers day by day uh, list is increasing and the videos are also um, I mean a lot of videos are you know my every video in fact is being watched regularly and every time I open my YouTube channel and I see that uh, that you know the number of uh, memberships and the number of views are increasing thank you so much for this uh, and uh, thank you so much for writing in uh, you know writing me your uh, great great emails and uh, so as you know that my almost every video is actually uh, you know I upload the videos um, especially uh, in uh, you know with the actually ambition that you know uh, you can see those videos and you can be actually benefited uh, whether you're in office or whether you're doing some personal project and it always actually uh, kind of a one-on-one -on -one, you know uh, whenever I see some interesting email and uh, any email I'm into say you know and I see that okay so that's that's the you know uh, problem and we need to sort it out so I work on that and I come up with the you know videos so uh, t uh, today also I'm going to actually <laughs> uh, you know I'm recording this video because I actually got a very interesting question uh, from uh, one of my uh, subscribers and he's saying that and this video to uh, talks about the VBA and uh, so the question is that uh, 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 what why why do we uh, need to declare you know uh, variables in your you know uh, macros or in your subroutines or procedures right so he's specifically talking about the string data type so uh, he says that uh, what is the need of uh, uh, you know uh, typing this um, um, using this you know as a string so what could be the problems if if you don't choose the correct data type you know if you if you by chance you are choosing a string instead of number maybe a long integer or you know vice versa so i'm just going to give you a small demonstration because i really found it very uh, you know interesting and uh, so uh, what actually we are going to do is uh, we are going to uh, clear the concept you know on how to why why it is so important to declare the correct data types you know and uh, we'll take the example of the string string data type right so string data type guys uh, for for people who do not know anything about the VBA and who just have a you know maybe a slight idea string actually is a data type which we declare in the uh, you know this VBA programming and uh, so string means that it can actually hold up you know up to um, some limit you know there is some limit of the characters you know so it always uh, ho it is used to hold the characters not the values not the numbers I mean to say right not as number like 444 or 55 five, but yes definitely it can hold something like this you know this uh, j or whatever you know uh, some maybe alphanumeric so that's why we're actually this is where we actually use the string uh, data type right so uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's check that why it is so important to uh, you know always uh, use the correct uh, data type and uh, by the way yes uh, the you know uh, your this actually how many characters you can hold uh, in this string uh, it actually you can hold somewhere around from 0 to you know uh, 2 billion characters approximately 2 billion characters so it's a huge 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 you know uh, uh, I mean from the uh, uh, storing number uh, from from, uh, from storing the character uh, the number of characters it's actually can store up to 2 billion characters right you know, approx approximately 2 billion characters right from 0 to 2 billion characters it, it can hold this string type alright so let me quickly go to the VBA window and uh, we'll write here uh, uh, a procedure so uh, let's say uh, I'll say that uh, data type understanding it's always good to give a proper kind of a you know uh, procedure which can help you in identifying that what exactly it is doing uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, let me declare quickly two variables uh, string them j as string right and uh, now I'm gonna give them a value uh, as you can see in my sheet uh, sheet a I have a cell a1 so you can even write the cell a1 range a1 and uh, I'll assign this value to my variable called i right i equals to so the value which you are uh, trying to evaluate which is a blank you know it always goes uh, to the left you know so the value which actually has some is holding up some value it always goes to the right that's the root right so j and i are something which are right now unknown right we don't know we do not know anything about them they don't hold any value so that's why we are taking these values on the uh, left and then equals to on the right side we have a values where we actually are 
quite certain that we have got some values here right for example so I'm assigning these values this is how you write the code so what will happen is that I will have triple four and J will have triple five right so but the problem is this you might be wondering that as I said that you know string can hold actually up to two billion characters so why we are giving this string data type right ideally it should be a number maybe it should be a byte it should be an integer it should be a long you know byte of course will not hold because byte holds only 0 to 255 numbers so maybe an integer or maybe a you know long can work actually integer will work so why not dim i as integer and j as integer so uh, my friends actually the approach should be like this but since we are going to actually understand you know that how important it is to uh, give the correct data type so i'm going to what i'm going to do is i'm deliberately i'm you know uh, assigning these data types as string to these variables knowing that you know i and j are the numbers they are not string so let me declare one more variable uh, variable and i'll also give this a string okay and then what actually we are going to do is um, result equal to i'm going to say i multiply by j okay right and in last we'll have this value in the fifth row and the first column so this is my blank you know that's fifth row i don't have anything right so that's that's gonna be my a1 cell a5 cell right a i can write maybe you can write you know something like this uh, range a5 maybe you can write this code as well range a5 dot value okay equals to what you want result or maybe you can write cell as well whatever both the codes are correct right so I'll just use this cells code right now let's see what will happen so I'm gonna declare this and uh, let's open the local window you can open the local window always because that actually always helps to identifying the data now I and J have started we have declared them strings so they have you know uh, use these codes within the codes now I has triple four I has triple five right and the result would be what result would be two six two four six four two zero that's exactly you know the way actually we wanted it so we are finally displaying this value over here and it works fine right so the question is that now if if, if you multiply this number with, with this number just to check with whether we have got the correct number or not so multiplication you are you're multiplying see understand you're multiplying the two numbers they, they are actually the two numbers it so now you have declared them as string but then obviously when you're going to multiply them they will actually give you the correct results so that's that might be a point of confusing for you then if I can declare them as a string and if they can actually work you know I can get these multiplication uh, you know uh, these kind of a calculations done mathematical calculations then then what is the purpose of declaring these strings so actually the problem is this that so far you actually uh, can do this because it is multiplying you know ultimately you are multiplying the two numbers right so even if I let's say for example if I store here 400 and uh, if I check that whether this number or not I use this number function right it is going to give me the true but the moment I'll use this number 400 right I have just used this apostrophe and now if you check that you know whether it's a number or not see it is going to give you the false result right so a number can be displayed as a text as well but however when you multiply this number with any other number maybe this number it will actually give you the result right so the problem comes when you actually uh, might be uh, you know using this number somewhere where you actually want to use it as a uh, might be as a you know a number but here it is stored as a text so in that scenario it is actually going to create a problem for you right you might be using like the VLOOKUP in VLOOKUP if you are using some value but the value stored as a text then you will not get the results so the point I'm trying to make is here that on multiplying that the value which is you know a number which is actually sh is a number you know by its nature but stored as a text when you do the multiplication you know automatically it will actually give you the results you know it doesn't mean that the if it is stored as a text now if I use this text function I'll get here you know true right but it does not mean that you can't do any calculation on it if I'm going to multiply this with this see I'll get the results right but in VBA what happens is uh, if you declare these variables as a string and at the same time what you want is uh, let's say you want to sum sum them you know you want to sum up them now let's see what exactly we are going to get here so let me just delete this number because this is here uh, I'll get my result and uh, let me maybe I can just color it and I can increase the size so that you can see actually okay 
and uh, just increase the width okay now let's run this now you can see here a um, a1 holds triple four and it is actually what i is getting and similarly j is getting triple five and the result value now i'm going to execute this now check this out see this it has actually concatenated this you know i have used the plus sign and similarly you know so that's the major blunder which you are going to do in case if you're going to choose this string data type you know because when you actually work on the strings so they act the plus sign you know this uh, in vba this plus what it actually does is it actually joins the strings right so generally when uh, this plus sign is actually it means and operator right and operator would act like here you know the plus would act like a and operator if i write here ajay and if i write my last name okay and if i'm gonna concatenate them i will use this and operator right so this is where actually i use this and operator but so when you work on the vba and you are using this sign you know i plus j and you're declaring this type as a string so automatically it will take that number as a string and it will concatenate this so the purpose of adding them up is going to be defeated so that's why it is so important to actually give a correct uh, data type right so you might be able to use this when you multiply them you will not find any error but when you are actually going to sum them up you will get actually error right in your results right so the correct way to do is uh, i'm going to declare this as an integer because this value comes between 32765 so I'll write here again the string and uh, here again I'll write the integer because I'm expecting that on summing these numbers I should get a number not a string now let's run this code again right so that's how you got this correct value now because of the correct data type right so I hope this video has clarified you that why it is so important to declare the correct data types and why I have chosen the string data type because most of the time people have this assumption in their mind you know that the string can actually work for the text entries as well so you know if some value is stored as a text obviously you can multiply them maybe you can divide them but on doing the you know uh, if you if you're going to do the addition then you may end up having a lot of lot of problem just like we saw right so that's it for now guys and uh, I have uh, you know uh, um, l let me just again uh, share this thing with you a lot of people have key, you know they keep on asking me that oh, oh, where is a link where they can find all the videos in one step you know so that they don't have to I uh, basically uh, search for my video so uh, just go to the playlist that's the option uh, when you see my video on the YouTube channel just click on my name and it'll you know uh, on my name like the, over here just click on this and you'll get all the videos and uh, under this playlist option you have all the option condition formatting VBA videos Excel VBA all in one go Aris most powerful Excel videos and mode you can even choose from here right Ch you can even watch the chart and pivots advanced format cells and MS access database so just clicking on this uh, these videos what will actually happen is suppose I'm clicking on the conditional formatting so you can see all my three videos so far you know I have uploaded three videos and you can according to you know your requirement your interest uh, you can watch them though I would highly highly suggest you that watch all the videos because every video is a unique its own way and thanks to all my viewers and subscribers who keep on writing me such you know wonderful uh, keep on asking me such wonderful questions I think because of that you know I'm able to actually upload these uh, fabulous videos so thanks guys and uh, that's my email ID in case if you are looking for Excel VBA or MS Access training just let me know about it write me in at my this email ID and till then thank you so much and take care of yourself bye bye